Hey y'all, it's Jessica Pretty Prints and Paper, and today I have an unboxing for you from Paper Panda. And if you haven't been on my channel before, I talk about different kinds of creative planning, bullet journaling, productivity, and also some creative things like brush calligraphy and alcohol ink, all so that we can figure out what matters to us in making a planning system that is unique, yours, and useful. Let's get into it. It was so nice of them to send me this box, and I have not even looked inside, so we're going to find out at the same time what's in here. And this is a nice-ass box, I'll tell you. Wow. Okay, so it looks like in here I've got some really skinny washi, it's like 5mm, some transparent sticky notes, and a really beautiful blush color. Oh, a personal note and some beautiful neutral colored stickers. Okay, and here is the planner. I know 2020 seemed like the year that everybody was releasing a planner. So <laughs> we'll see if I, I like this and how it jives with my current planning system. There are so many planners out there that sometimes it gets easy to get caught up in the latest release and the new thing. But I have really tried to stay grounded in my own planning style so that I don't totally get swept up in all of the madness. So I am going to be doing a flip through of this, giving you my first impressions, maybe doing a pen test and letting you know what my thoughts are and whether I would personally use this. I cannot decide for you, but hopefully seeing this in person live will help you decide whether you would use it. The cover is really lovely. It is that kind of fabric almost like linen feel on the front and it comes in a bunch of neutral colors that are just beautiful. I think this is in milk tea. I am so sorry if you can hear all of the sirens going off in my neighborhood. I live right by the fire station so that's what, that's what you might be hearing. And then something that I just noticed as well is that there is not like a an elastic for you to be able to like keep your pages together but um, thickness wise it is less than an inch. So it's about an inch and so not super super thick. So let's see how big this puppy is. It is six and a half inches across and with the rings or the coil, it is seven and a half, seven and a quarter across. And then from bottom to top, it is eight and a half inches tall. So in all told, eight and a half inches tall and seven and a quarter across with the coil. I love these because I just never know what part of the planner I'm in without one. The coil looks super substantial. It's really thick. It does not seem like it would be something that I can just contort on accident if I put it in my purse. I know Emma loves gold, gold foiling on everything, so that is something that I love. And you can see that on the gold foiling on the bookmark. got the holidays, the vision board. This is a little small for a vision board, but you know, obviously you can shrink down whatever things that you want to print out. When I said a vision board, I was telling the sugary gal girls this, but I like to set it based on the things that I was gravitating towards. So some people set up vision boards by knowing exactly what it is that they want. So they just Google the image or Google clip art that is exactly that. Like Diana really wanted to go to Hawaii. So she legit just printed out a picture of Hawaii and put it in her vision board. And for me, it's a little bit more indirect. So I look back at like the things that I saved on my Instagram. What are the things that I screenshotted and seeing what themes there are. Maybe I just print out those things that I screenshotted. They were appealing to me for a reason and trying to figure out the common thread in there kind of tells me what is intuitively grabbing at me to put on my vision board. Ooh, so this you can use for a bunch of different things. I can already see there's 12 of these, so these could be months. These could be buckets of different categories. They could be for monthly birthdays. They could be different projects that you have going on. I love that they kind of kept that open for you to decide. 
And then adding a little bit of goal planning in here. I have to say that these lines came out really small. So again, my favorite pen, if you didn't know, is a 0.28 gel pen. It's a Uniball Signo retractable. And because it's so small, I could see myself being able to really squeeze that in here. But if you like a 0.7, you know, super chunky, it might not fit as easily in here. So you can kind of break this down from yearly to monthly and so on and so forth. For me personally, because I like to tweak as I go, I would not fill this completely out all at once. I would probably do yearly goals and maybe even on like transparent page flags. <laughs> I can't just commit because what if that changes, you know, so I just like to keep things flexible I would just do January and then stop and then reflect and then decide Okay, I can go into February tweak if I need to scrap stuff if I need to and go from there anyway January it's got these tabs this really popular minimalist motif Starts on a Monday. That's awesome. I like keeping the weekends together and then whatever you want to use this monthly page for, so you can do it for tasks, you can do it for a big reminder here, it's blank. This is lined, so you can you know write down notes or whatever. If you want more to-do list items, you can always split this in half. Dot grid for notes. I respect when people do it right the first time and just do the five millimeter grid. Anything bigger than that or smaller than that is just foolish. Okay, so it looks like they have a horizontal. Anybody who's in the Moxie Life community knows that horizontal is like all the rage over there right now. And there's amazing folks who have incredible designs based on a horizontal set. Let me zoom in here. Okay, so you can kind of see a little bit better. There are checklist items on here and a blank open space on the right hand side. So I think you can probably do stickers or lettering or whatever you need that space for. Let's see what shapes fit into there. It is like 1.6 inches tall and then, you know, anywhere between three to three and a half inches wide. If you have stickers and use a full box, this is kind of what it looks like in there. It fits perfectly within the lines. I'm sure she considered that when they designed these. So on the monthlies, these boxes are like 1.4 inches and one inch tall. And these are print pression size. So it's really, really close with the print pression size just a little bit here so you could kind of center it and it covers up most of it but um, I don't know what stickers might fit completely inside of here. If you use the cloth and paper dots let's see how those size up in here. So about there. And it fits perfectly within the lines. If we come in here, it kind of goes over the lines just a little bit, but it fits pretty well inside there. And Yep, kiss, kisses the top and the bottom lines, but fits in between there. But there's the notes that are kind of here. So you can cover this up and do whatever you need for there. I personally like having like these things at the front end of the week because I like to think more intentionally at the front end what I need to do for the week. And then you can probably put in, you know, your routines up here, maybe habits up there, a quote. Okay. And then the last page of the month is on a little bit of a thicker piece of paper that has the tab on it. There's not an end of the month kind of reflection piece. Okay, and it just repeats this way. And it has some of the similar motifs. Oh, their dog. Oh my god, that's so cute. If you know that, their, their dog's name is Boba and that is an adorable homage. Okay. 
So this definitely fits that minimal aesthetic with all the neutrals. The weeklies, thank goodness, they are completely open for you to design or if you have stickers or if you have different colors that you want to use, you absolutely can. Let me look and use some of the other like cloth and paper stickers to see what fits. Oh, this is neat. This last page in here, planning ahead for the next year. Project planner pages. Two project planner pages. A bunch of notes. This paper feels nice. It's not super, super smooth like you have in like a... Maybe it's the same thing as a Moxie. We'll see. And at the end, there's these perforated pages that has little checklists. So this could be good for things like errands, if you just like want to stop and create little lists for on the go. That's cool. Then you don't have to take this whole planner with you. I don't know who's going anywhere, but in case you're going somewhere, there's this nice pocket with paper that's not, co it's coated, so it's not probably easily rippable. Rippable, is that even a word? And then that's the back. So let's pull out some pens and see what this paper is. Okay, so I've pulled out a couple of different types of pens to see how they will do in the paper. Wow, this is pretty good. I don't see much ghosting at all, except for you can see the shadowing a little bit here, and I really have to focus. So this is that really dark gray Sharpie S gel, uh, Sharpie S highlighter, the pink Sharpie, and then the passion markers are here. No, these are their mild liners. Yep, these are the mild liners, and then even lighter are the passion markers. Of course, you can see the uni, uh, the uni pin 01. That's a favorite for transparent page flags. It shows up a little bit more than the other ones, but honestly, you have to really look to get that. And the cream color dots don't even really show up at all. Paper-wise, great. When I look at this, you have to decide for yourself, you know, do you like a coil binding? Some people only really like lay flat notebooks. Some people like a disc so they can rearrange the pages. Some people really need more notes than this. So go through and ask yourself the following kinds of questions. Do you like planning horizontally? Is that how your brain works? For me, I think of time vertically and I like having, you know, a lot of my time blocked out like a Google Calendar. That's what makes sense for my brain. Doing it horizontally would take some retraining of my mind and being able to look at like, okay, is this the number of tasks that you might have in a day? I would, if I had to get this planner, I would also use daily lists because there's a lot of little daily things that I would need to make space for and there's not enough space here. Of course, I could always go over in here but that's not how my brain wants to go. I want more space for each day. Personally, that's not true for everyone. If you have a job where you punch in and you don't have to write stuff down because you know like you're a nurse and whatever you know is happening that day is whatever you do to that day and you don't need a lot of space for, for a bunch of lists, that's awesome. And so know that about your context. That's not my context. And these notes down here, is this enough room for you? Can you make this top space work in terms of using it for habits and stuff? Um, do you like it at this side here rather than on the other side? And for pages, is this enough? Do you want pages that are kind of incorporated into each day, into the end of the month? There are, of course, ways that you can, like if you have a punch, you can always add those in and just cut slits here. I think that's how people have been getting around the whole rearranging pages in a coil. You just snip some of the uh, pages right there and you can kind of pull them out and 
place them back in. I've seen people take coil binds off and replace them with discs if you just punch out all the pages. That is not something that I'd want to spend time doing. So if you are thinking about getting something like this, just think about what you need your planner to do and keep track of and see if it works for you. If you like having a touch of these decor pieces uh, at the monthlies and then being able to decorate each week to be whatever you want, then that fits your purpose. Um, it's easy to get swept up, but think about what you want the planner to do before you make a purchase. But if you are interested, there's of course a ton of stuff that goes along with this. The minimal trend is strong, so there's a lot of things that you're going to be able to find that match this aesthetic. There are probably a bunch of different ways that you could use this in a horizontal fashion. Like this might be like your wellness planner. And so you can have some routines around your wellness. Like you take your vitamins, you do like I would put in like 20 push-ups here. Things that you want your day to look like from a wellness standpoint or you can have it to be tracking like your macros if you want and then you can use this as like a journaling space or print out photos to add into here. You can use it as a gratitude, print out some photos, add onto the side. You can use it as a content planner if you wanted some space to sketch out what your ideas look like, but being able to identify what you want to post on Instagram, your stories, on YouTube, or the tasks that you have to do related to your content. That's a really great way to use this planner, I think, because it is compact. There's not too much space, so I don't need a lot of space for that piece, so I might be able to fit all that into here. You could also structure this around money routines if you have them, being able to do, you know, your daily money tasks, like if you have a an app or something that you want to reconcile all your spending and make some other money moves, that could be an, another great way to use this for a specific purpose if you otherwise need more space and you can hone it down into here. Okay, wow, it's been a long time since I've done a planner flip through, but what did you think? Is this something that you'd be interested in? Is that something that meshes well with your planning system that you might consider? I know they just got these um, finally because of COVID shipping issues. I hope you've been compassionate towards some small businesses who've had really a lot of issues with shipping across the country and across the world. They finally got theirs in in January, if this is something you're thinking of. Are there other questions that you have about what the system looks like? I'd be happy to answer them. Just ask them down below. If Are you thinking about getting it? If you like this video, I do a couple other planner flip throughs and reviews like the Silk and Sonder and the Moxie Life and other things like that. Check that out in the cards. But otherwise, if you like this video, please go ahead, subscribe, like, share, whatever. But otherwise, I just hope that you enjoy it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.